Yes, my friends, this is Joe Franklin. We've gone down many a memory lane together. Uh, but one of my all-time treats is being able to say that you are now watching World News Now. Keep watching. Thank you. You're welcome. Before Jay Leno or David Letterman, before Charlie Rose or Larry King, even before Johnny Carson or Dick Cavett, there was Joe Franklin, the guy who had a talk show before those other guys could even talk. Franklin's name might not ring a bell with everyone because his talk show aired mostly in the New York area. He did his last show about a year and a half ago, but if you worked in show business any time in the past few decades, you probably made an appearance on Franklin's show. Hello? Yeah. You want to hear something? I'm being interviewed here by a big show. I don't want to mention your name. This lady, you got to say hello to lady wrote a big book on Harold Lloyd. Man from World News Tonight. World News, World News Now. World News Now. Hold on. <laughs> Joe, in later years, after you left ABC, you were known for doing the overnight show on WOR, the Superstation. When I went on at late at night, I not only trailblazed, but I made late at night the battleground of the world. I opened up that time period and made uh, late night what it is today, especially overnights today with the... Uh, with the world news nows and the infomercials and the repeats. So I think that I, I established the fact that there's a huge audience late at night or overnight and much more uh, conducive to paying attention, less passive, but living it and breathing it. And I, I'm very proud of the fact that I did make late night, uh, so far as I'm concerned, uh, the prime time of TV. <laughs> Alongside me, my friends, our ever-cheerful Mr. Significa. We used to call it uh, Trivia. Now uh, the whole world is on a trivia craze, so we call it uh, Significa. Next week, I think we'll call it uh, Exotica. We'll, I like that. We'll go plateau by plateau. Richie Ornstein, who's co-authored our big book on trivia. Richie, uh, what do you want to tell the world out there? There's nothing like Joe Hello? Franklin. It's Joe Franklin and everyone else. Just like in baseball, it's Babe Ruth and everyone else. In television and radio, it's Joe Franklin oh, well, the rest of the world. The Marvelous Cats, the how are you? How's the other Rangers? kittens? Uh, listen, Richard, you're, you're one of the top men there. Don't it's stop amazing. now, don't stop you're now. Right, you're all over the book. You're in the book alone. Thank you, thank you. Mars Cats, Mars Cats is a famous painter. Mars Cats paints with toilet paper. This young man is my office assistant, has his own TV talk show. And do you want to say hello to Mr. Barry? Tell him a little bit. His name is Wally Banks. What do you want to tell him? Hi, Wally. What's your, well, what, hello. What's your, what's your TV show is called? Well, his show is called Inside Slash Ringside with Walter Banks. He's a boxing expert. Boxing. And and very bright man. A lot of excitement. It's a lot of fun. And I met this man. I was having a couple of implants from Dr. Linkow, who invented the implant procedure, and we became good friends. And he's my occasional uh, office manager and right-hand man, left-hand man. He's also my diction coach. Raymond, uh, what do you want to say to the world out there? A typical day in your life was what? Well, you wanted to say about the office, or? See, si, a little bit of everything. Well, Poquito. Uh, I met uh, Mr. Franklin through Dr. Leonard Lincoln's office, and I was, uh, I am really a dental technician. The near gates, the, the <laughs> in gates, the, the Morris Katz is in there, and, uh, <laughs> and Richard, uh, uh, I forgot his name. Goldberg. Uh, Sam <coughs> Goldberg and has beens and the never has beens. Joe Franklin, yes, by a scribbler published. Here, it's scribbler. A scribbler. A scribbler. Listen, That's you teach perfect. me better English, I'll never talk to nobody later. The I'll get a million dollars for a painting. And since I talk a little bit about Marilyn Monroe and Jane Mansfield in there, they thought that was the real title, Up Late with Joe Franklin, Between the Sheets. When it's ah. But I'm not, that, that's not for me, that's more, more for Geraldo, you know. <laughs> Today, my friends, a distinguished medal-winning panel, my friends, on the far end, Jackie Rogers, Jr., <laughs> a great albino performer. <laughs> and have you ever seen an albino performer before? Not that I know of, Joe. Uh -huh. Billy Crystal, he wrote a book called Absolutely Marvelous, where he says that his first acting lesson was pretending to be sick and staying home from school so he could watch the Joe Franklin show and he was motivated by my uh, revivals on TV of Laurel and Hardy movies, Abbott and Costello movies, and Buster Keaton and Charlie Chaplin to be a comedian so and uh, he, you know he did me for all those years and uh, the first time I saw him doing me by the way because I, I, I never saw it I was on the radio when he when that show was on the air. the first time I saw it, I said one of us is lousy I didn't, <laughs> I didn't say which one over here is boxes and boxes of photographs of me with, with, with everybody who ever lived, everybody who ever lived was on my show through the years. I wouldn't know where to start. Boxes and boxes, 
mean thousands and thousands of photographs. I would never know where to begin. Tony Curtis, when we were both a little bit younger, about two weeks mm. younger. Vincent Price, horror movie man. Uh, Rodney Dangerfield, getting, oh, Rodney. getting a little respect. That's Richie Ornstein. Oh. Sally Kirkland. Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby is one of the few celebrities who started on your show and actually came back came to back. pay you a visit after Always. he was a big star. And I also want to say a harmony to everyone for the year of 1978. 400 talk show hosts came and went in New York alone during my tenure. 400. So I, I've always said that the main ingredient is sincerity. And once you've learned to fake that, then you've got it made. A talent coordinator sometimes can get a little power mad, right? So I did it all by myself. Hello? Victor, I'm being interviewed here. Goodbye.